Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel for this week's toolbox safety topic video. Before we get started make sure that you give me a thumbs up down below here to encourage me to make more videos of this type. Also subscribe to my YouTube channel where you'll find additional videos of this nature, other safety related videos, and leadership training videos. And if you find this information useful or helpful make sure you share it with your colleagues and co-workers. Well, let's go ahead and get started. Today's toolbox safety topic is called being present in the moment. And I got this from Safety Talk Ideas and it's found in the Raken app. Check it out, it's a pretty good app. There are many things going on around us in our physical environment as well as distraction occupying our minds at any given time. With all the challenges and noise we face in today's world, it is difficult to be truly present in the moment we are in. This can be especially true at work. It is important to realize when our focus, attention, or mind is not fully present in the moment while completing a work task. What does it mean to be truly present? For the purpose of this talk, we are discussing where our focus and attention is in a given moment. All too often, we are physically present somewhere, but our focus and attention are not. We have all been there, whether it's during a safety meeting or when driving home. We zone out and quickly realize we have no clue what was said in the safety meeting or with the snap of a finger, we are home but have no recollection of the drive. This kind of disconnect from the present moment can be extremely dangerous when at work. Some of the dangers of not being present while at work. The dangers of not being fully present and engaged while at work are obvious. Two quick scenarios. Scenario number one. A supervisor is going through the safety procedures for a new piece of equipment. Your mind begins to wander and you do not hear much of the discussion. Later that day while you are using an equipment, a co-worker's hand gets caught in the moving parts and you do not know where the emergency shutoff switch is. And then scenario number two. You are working in a plant during a shutdown and many different companies are performing work in a small area. You are not paying attention to where you're walking and totally miss multiple signs warning of overhead work being performed. A piece of pipe falls from the higher level and strikes you on the shoulder. Now let's talk about how to be present. There are many reasons why we may not be present in any given moment. As individuals, we vary greatly but a few quick tips may help you be more present in the moment the next time you find your mind wandering. Take a note of where you are focusing where your mind is at. From there, make the conscious choice to improve your focusing and where your mind is at. From there, make the conscious choice to improve your focus and attention if needed. When you are part of a discussion or receiving directions, make sure that you are actively listening to the person speaking. One way to become a better listener is to treat the information as something you're going to have to teach a coworker. Receiving information with having the expectation you will be responsible to pass it on can help ensure that you actively listen to the person speaking. Also, eliminate distractions from the physical work area, such as noise, clutter, Chemicals, people, equipment, etc. can have a large impact on your ability to fully pay attention to what you are doing in any given moment at work. Eliminating distractions can make all the difference in whether or not you are able to fully focus on the task at hand. Also, eliminate any personal issues that are causing your mind to wander whenever possible. Oftentimes, Personal issues cause our minds not to be fully present on our work. Try to calm your concerns or worries by making a phone call home if it will help solve the issue. If a discussion will not help the situation, 
then maybe you need to take the rest of the day off. In summary, it can be challenging to truly be present at work. Distraction, long hours, health issues, family problems, stress, etc. all plague us and our ability to be present in our work. It is only possible through recognizing where our focus and attention is and from there deciding to take the necessary steps to try to be more present in the moment we are in. All right, boys and girls, that's it for this week's toolbox safety topic video. Thanks for stopping by and thanks for watching. Make sure to give me a thumbs up down below here to encourage me to make more videos of this type. Also subscribe to my YouTube channel where you'll find additional videos of this nature, other safety related videos and leadership training videos. If you found this information useful or helpful, make sure you share it with your colleagues and coworkers. And until we see each other again, Take care of yourself because you're number one. Look out for your co-workers and help ensure their safety. Have a grateful day. And remember, I will see you in the field. All right. Staying focused, staying in the moment. We all wonder. Uh, we, we have all kinds of things going on in our mind when we're at work, and, and that's the prime opportunity for something to happen, for an accident to happen. Take the advice in this video and, and, and live in the moment. Stay focused for your work period and, until you get a break and then, and then focus on family issues or whatever you need to focus on. Anyway, if you, uh, if you have a specific safety item you'd like for, to hear me talk about, leave a, a comment in the, in the comments down below and uh, I'll get that together for you. If there's a specific question you have, also leave a question in the comments and I'll get back to you uh, as well. And remember that these toolbox topics can be used for toolbox safety topics on your job site for your team and for your company. Just make sure that you note what video you watched on a sign-in sheet, have some discussion, have your coworkers or your team members sign off on it, and that becomes a document that you can submit to OSHA that shows that you do continuing education and hazard recognition, hazard mitigation for your team, for your job site, and for your company. And so. Anyway, I think I'll leave some of those Easter eggs. I think that's it. I'll leave some of those Easter eggs at the very end here. <clears throat> I'll come up with something for you to look at. Anyway, uh, I think that's it. Thanks for watching. Have a grateful day. And we will see you in the field. Stop recording. Did I stop it? Oh, stop recording.